Alright, so I've been noticing a lot of views uh, recently on one of my videos about balancing your tone arm, and I think it's like just past a thousand or something. And on the third turn table that I was talking about a couple of weeks ago, when I got it, I realised that it's got a slightly different way of balancing uh, counterweighting the tone arm, so I thought I'd just explain how that works. It's a little different to on the conventional, like, you know, normal ones that you see, where you've just got one kind of weight, the the arm you just balance you you set it to middle and then dial in how much weight you want so here I've got three grams three grams as well there you probably know about my penny situation but I've sorted it out with my little scales here so this is really easy to do it's pretty you know it's pretty easy because you've got the number uh, and also there's no anti skating because I think this might have some kind of little thing built into it I'm not sure all the needles are just really good at tracking. So, but for here, what we've got is counterweight, this knob here, and then anti-skating. Uh, so let me show you how to do this. This is the dual 505-2 turntable. It's a pretty good turntable, actually, and the needle's really good. This is one of the Autophon OM cartridges that's on here. Uh, so this is pretty cool. It's a, it's a really good sound. Um, so let me show you how to balance it. What you're going to need to do first to balance it and um, how you're going to get your scales on is this is this type of turntable. When you put the needle over, obviously it starts spinning and that's not going to work if you've got that on. So just go ahead and turn it off. All right, so as you can see here, now when we put it over, the plast doesn't spin around. So this is good. So pretty much how it came was that uh, obviously this thing was off on the back, you've got a back counterweight and the way this works is you've kind of got three parts to it. You've got this back counterweight on and you've got this dial-in system and the anti-skating. This dial-in system is basically so that you can have more of the weight distributed, the tracking force over the whole arm and not just on the point in the needle. So it's supposed to help with like needle wear and the needle not scratching into your vinyl so much. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put on the counterweight because obviously now if you if I take off this it's pretty heavy uh, obviously because it's got the full weight so I'm going to put this on uh, and it's a screw on like that and I'm going to get it so that it feels like it's just resting at zero so obviously you can see that it flips up so maybe that's a bit too much let's take this off So there it's floating in a pretty neutral position, so that's good. And obviously when you bring it, see like even there it won't stay on. So that's good, we're at zero now. And that is making sure that the whole counterweight is balanced. Then to dial in the weight, what you want to do is use this thing on the side, which I think moves a spring like inside the arm or something. So let's do that. I know this cartridge, this needle tracking forces is about just under two. So I'm going to put it to about 2 point, well, I'm just going to put it to 2, let's do that. Um, and obviously it feels a bit heavier. So now if we get my scales, put it here, wait for them to 0, flip it down, we should read about 2 grams. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but 2.01, yeah, 2 exactly, so that's pretty good there. In fact, I might even dial it back a tiny bit just because I'm not going to be like scratching or anything. So this should be like 2.8 2 or 2.9. Yeah, 2.85, bang in the middle. I mean, I mean 1.85, bang in the middle. That's pretty much what I wanted it to be. Now that we've got that all sorted out, I want to do the anti-skating. This is an elliptical styly, not spherical. Spherical, I think, gives you a slightly better sound, but obviously... Uh, they're more easily damaged. So elliptical, we want to just match it to the weight rating. So I flip it up to about 2.85, just under 2 where I've got it there. Uh, that doesn't actually change the weight. As you can see, it. you know, it's exactly the same, so that's all good. When you put it on the record now, uh, you know, I haven't got one loaded up, but it, it, it should be pretty good. The, um, hold on, let me test it on here again. The needle shouldn't actually it shouldn't like you know bend so much when you put it on you know it gently rests on there 
the stylus actually doesn't bend like it does on some of these records over here. So on this one, when I pick it up, obviously the little mechanism moves a tiny bit. So that's all good. Let me know if you have any other questions about this. It's just kind of one extra part. And once you understand how to use it, it's actually pretty simple. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and also other NPC beat making videos and stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.